السلام علیکم آئی ایم غیور احمد اینڈ دس از اے لیسن فار ٹینتھ کلاس سبجیکٹ انگلش لیسن فوڈ پرنٹس ود آؤٹ فیٹ ٹاپک پنکچویشن کنٹینیوڈ فرام دا پریویس لیسن ڈیو فرینڈس ان دا پریویس لیسن وی ڈسکسڈ واٹ از مینٹ بائی پنکچویشن and the use of full stop and i told you that punctuation is the use of uh, spacing conventional signs called punctuation marks and certain typographical devices as aids to understand the text and read it correctly i also told you that full stop is the longest pause and is used after statements that is declarative or assertive sentences both positive and negative full stop is also used in abbreviations and initialisms after commands and indirect questions after serial numbers in vertical or bulleted lists in website and email addresses and as decimal point in decimal numbers Full stop is not used after direct questions and exclamatory sentences. Neither is it used immediately after any other punctuation mark. This was the summary of the previous lesson. Now let's move forward with our today's lesson. And today we will be discussing how and why to use question marks and exclamation marks. Friends, these are the only two sentence endings other than full stops and are equivalent to the full stop in impact and placement, but are used in different circumstances. So friends, let's first see how and where do we use a question mark. Dear friends, question mark is also called note of interrogation or interrogation point. It is used, number one, after a question, direct question, or interrogative sentence. For example, what is your name? Have you read the Arabian Nights? Friends, these two sentences are direct questions or interrogative sentences, and therefore, note of interrogation or question mark is used as the terminal point with them. Number two. Question mark is also used after question tags. A question tag is a very short interrogative clause placed at the end of a statement which changes a statement into a question. For example, Abrar is a good boy, isn't he? You have finished your homework, haven't you? He is not a teacher, is he? And many people are not following the COVID appropriate behavior. Are they? In these examples, isn't he, haven't you, is he, and are they are question tags. Question tags are very common, particularly in spoken informal English, and are used to ask if you agree with the statement. Remember, a negative statement takes a positive tag, while as a positive statement takes a negative tag in contracted form and the subject is always a pronoun. A question mark is placed after the question tag and thus the whole sentence including the otherwise statement part becomes an interrogative sentence. Number three, question mark is used after rhetorical questions also. Friends, a rhetorical question is a type of question that is posed only for dramatic or persuasive effect and answer to such a question is neither expected nor required. For example, who cares? Are you kidding me? Number four, question mark is also used after a sentence when a statement is turned into a question. Look at these sentences. She said that, you promise to call me every day. 
Friends, these two sentences are not questions in the strict test sense and by structure, but are statements. But by placing the question mark at the end of these, the otherwise statements are turned into questions. This is done to show disbelief, uncertainty and dissatisfaction. And a certain definite answer is sought for. In the spoken form, this effect, that is uh, turning a statement into a question, is generated by the tone or intonation. Similarly, yes, with a note of interrogation after it, or question tone in spoken form, is used when you want the speaker to repeat what was said, because either you did not hear it or did not understand it. Dear friends, question mark is not used in indirect questions, assertive or declarative sentences, exclamatory sentences, and imperative sentences. For example, he asked me what my name was. This is an indirect question and therefore question mark will not be used after it. As I have already discussed it in the previous lesson that full stop is used with such sentences. Similarly, question mark is not used after sentences like he is a teacher, a declarative or assertive sentence, what a lovely flower, exclamatory sentence and stand up imperative sentence. Friends, this is how we use question mark. Now what about exclamations and exclamatory sentences? Which punctuation mark is used with the such sentences? Yes, exclamation mark. So let's now see how and where exclamation point is used. My dear friends, exclamation mark is also called note of exclamation or exclamation point. It is used. Number one, at the end of an exclamatory sentence, that is a sentence which expresses a strong or forceful emotion or feeling, such as anger, joy, sorrow, surprise, or regret. For example, what a lovely flower and what a scene. Surprise. Hurrah, we won the match. Joy. Alas, we lost the match. Sorrow and get lost, anger. These are all exclamatory sentences and exclamation point is used as the terminal point with such sentences. Number two, exclamation marks are sometimes also used with sentence fragments and certain interjections. For example, working very hard, just as done, careful, Holy Lord, wow, lo, and lo and behold. These are all sentence fragments and interjections, which express the same feeling as done by exclamatory sentence, and therefore exclamation point is used after them. Friends, again, an otherwise statement can be turned into an exclamatory sentence if an exclamation point is placed at its end. I am your enemy. The note of exclamation shows that there is an element of surprise or anger involved in the sentence and therefore it is an exclamatory sentence and ends in a note of exclamation. My dear friends, it is pertinent to mention here as I have already said that these three punctuation marks, that is full stop, question mark and exclamation point are the only three sentence endings or terminal points. Therefore we must and we have to end a sentence with any one of them. We cannot leave a sentence without an endpoint punctuation mark and neither can we use any other punctuation mark apart from these three as the terminal point. But friends, there is yet another punctuation mark 
which functions as a terminal point or sentence ending. The intro bank, a non-standard punctuation mark. Friends, intro bank is a punctuation mark in the form of a question mark superimposed on an exclamation point. Sometimes it appears as a question mark followed by an exclamation point. It was introduced in 1962 for use especially at the end of a rhetorical question or an exclamatory rhetorical question that is a sentence which is a simultaneous question and uh, exclamation. Thus, it is used at the end of a sentence to express excitement, disbelief or dissatisfaction. For example, are you kidding me? But friends, it is considered as non-standard as it could not get general acceptance and popularity. My dear friends, one more point before we wind up today's lesson. If a sentence has a part enclosed with an inverted commas or quotation marks, the punctuation mark, full stop or note of interrogation or note of exclamation can be used either inside or outside of the closing quotation mark. The endpoint punctuation mark, full stop, or uh, question mark, or exclamation mark, is used inside the closing quotation mark if it applies only to the part enclosed by the quotation mark. For example, there's a fly on your nose, yelled my friends, and, oh, you saved my child, what have I done? She cried, touching the mango. In the first example, exclamation mark applies only to uh, there is a fly on your nose, the part enclosed within quotation marks or inverted commas, and therefore is placed inside the closing quotation marks, and the sentence as a whole ends in a full stop, which is placed at the very end of the sentence. While in the second example, oh, you saved my child. What have I done? Three punctuation marks, two uh, exclamation points and a question mark are used within the inverted commas. O is followed by an exclamation point and so is you have saved my child. The third part, what have I done, is followed by a question mark. These punctuation marks, as you can see, are used inside the closing quotation mark and with the parts to which they apply. The overall sentence ends in a full stop, which again is placed at the end of the sentence. On the other hand, if the punctuation mark applies to the whole sentence, then it is used at the very end of the sentence and outside the closing quotation mark. For example, my friends now try to tell me it was only a fly. Here the whole sentence is exclamatory and hence note of exclamation is placed outside the quotation mark and at the end of the sentence. Similarly, in the sentence, she said to her son, what on earth are you doing this for? Here again, in this example, the punctuation mark, that is the question mark, is placed outside the closing quotation mark at the very end of the sentence because it applies to the whole sentence. My dear friends, that is all for now, but we will be discussing the remaining punctuation marks in some of our coming lessons soon. And till we meet again in the next lesson, it is goodbye and khuda hafiz.